Compost Reality Adjacent Programming is proud to present another episode of Is the Answer That You Wrote on Your Card the Same as the Answer That I Wrote on My Card? With Dana Powers, Mary Weiss, Marissa and Ian Holmes, Shane Salk, Natasha Detmer, and Tyler Rhodes. As we play the star-studded Big Bunny, is the answer that you wrote on your card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card? And here's the star of is the answer that you wrote on your card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card? Bill Ho! Hey, okay! Whoa, whoa, geez, whoa, 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 hey, oh, hey! Hey, everybody! How are ya? Good to see ya! It's so good to be back here on Is the Answer that You Wrote on Your Card the Same as the Answer that I Wrote on My Card. I think that's how George said it. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I, I hope everybody's there. Corey, do we have people? Is is anybody watching right now? We got Donna Reed is watching. I see that. Peg is here. I hope everybody's tuning Hi, in and talk, talking on the Facebook, okay? So, listen, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen out there in Facebook land. Thanks for tuning in to Facebook Live for is the answer that you wrote on your card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card. Let me remind you. Thank you. Let me remind you that uh, we are live and anything can happen when we're live and it usually does. We appreciate you tuning in to Compost Reality Adjacent Programming or as we like to say, Crap TV. At Crap TV, it's always our goal that one day to have someone in your household say, hey, turn that crap off. That's what we're, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, that's what we're going for. Listen, uh, please uh, share the show with your friends. Uh, I know, you know, we do this periodically now. We don't do it every week. So uh, tell, tell all your folks right now to tune in and, and, and play along on your phones and chit chat with us. Uh, we got the chit chat up now. Uh, we got uh, 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 Don. Oh, Don. Don Schultz is out there. Sue Willis, my old friend from third grade. Third grade, I knew Sue Willis. My sister Debbie, Billy Aquaviva, Aaron Mano. Okay, everybody's starting to tune in, so this is good. This is fantastic. Listen, uh, don't forget about uh, our audio drama series, Carcerum. Okay, <laughs> it's that's right. It's out there right now. Okay, and it's waiting for you to just binge the hell out of it, okay? All 31 episodes are out, so tell your friends. It's a pretty damn good show. It's a good show. Carcerum, this is how you, wherever you get uh, your uh, your uh, podcast, your podcast series, okay? All right, listen, folks, we appreciate, we always appreciate you tuning into the show. It seems like this pandemic, this pandemic isn't going away yet, okay? We want it to go away. We want it to go away. We want we want things to change. Uh, but uh, but you know what? We're going to keep coming back to try to entertain you during these tough times. And we're going to keep doing these damn game shows until this pandemic's over. When the pandemic's over, we disappear. We disappear. OK, so let's let's get on with the show. Uh, listen, um, hey, we got a great lineup for you tonight. We'll start the evening off by introducing our celebrity guest panelists. So, this first gal, yeah, I know, it's exciting. This first gal is a regular on the show. She's a regular on the show now, whom I just saw recently on a rerun of Boston Legal. Boston Legal. I'm watching Boston Legal. You know, how do you not love Shatner on that show? She's been in hundreds of TV and radio commercials, tons of TV shows uh, as guest appearances. And, of course, she's in the award-winning audio drama series Carcerum. Hey, let's, let's, let's welcome her, Miss Mary Weiss. Mary Weiss, ladies and gentlemen. Mary, it's great to have you. <laughs> I got so excited when I saw you and Tina Marasco on Boston Legal in the same night. All right. Another regular on the show. This woman has been in show business since the beginning of time. <laughs> Over the years, she's entertained audiences from Boston to Chicago. Most recently, you guessed it, she's in Carcerum as well. Let's give, let's give it up for our very own Natasha Detmer, everybody. <laughs> Natasha Detmer. 
Heather, the woman, the woman with experience. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, this next guy. Again, one of our regulars. He's a fine actor, but these days, you know what he does? He's a big-time video game director for all those big-time video game titles we're not allowed to mention. Yes, he's appeared in Carcerum, but most importantly, he's a, <laughs> he's a father to young Declan, and he's married to, to the beautiful Carissa. Uh, let's hear it for the family man, family man, Tyler Rhodes. Tyler Rhodes. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> he needs an adult. Here you go. No, this is your... <laughs> oh my goodness. This is your adult time, Tyler. This is your adult time. Here we go. All right. <laughs> this next guy, he's well known to our regular audience, usually, though, behind the scenes. But we've let him out of his cave again tonight to play the game. Uh -uh. He's the mastermind behind Is the Answer that You Wrote on Your Card, the same as the answer that I wrote on my card. Uh, he's uh, he's co-creator, co-writer, co-director, co-host Salmon Fisherman, and one of the Cohen brothers, and he plays Kevin in Carcerum. Let's give it a big, big welcome to Mr. Shane Salk. He's the guy who puts this all together, and he's always happy. He's always, oh, look at, what do you got there, Shane? What do you got there, Shane? You got a, you got all Carcerum's trophies that we've won so far. Look at all those trophies you've got. Oh, I might grab something that keeps me warm at night. Oh, okay, all right. The trophies will keep you warm. All right, well, everybody loves this next gal. She's a great actress. She's a homeowner now, and she plays Aura in the popular podcast series Carcerum. You know her, you love her. You can't live without her. Little Dana Powers. Little Dana Powers. Hi, Dana. Dana, Hi. how is it being a how is it being a homeowner right now? Uh it is awesome and tiring and there's a lot of stuff <laughs> and I don't know where to put it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure Corey will tell you where to put it. All right, these next these next two. Hey, listen, guys. Listen, this is a big night. These next two are back by popular demand. They've been off traveling the world, spreading a little ray of hope to communities far and wide. They're back now, ready to entertain America once more. They're both, of course, in the award-winning audio drama series, Car Series. Ladies and gentlemen, the twins, Ian and Marissa Holmes, are back tonight. Look at, there they are. Hey, Bill, happy to be here. Ah, it's good to have you back, Ian. Don't forget, it's your turn to clean the bathroom. <laughs> Let me tell you, I can't tell you how happy I am having my adult children living in my house again. All right, so, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now, oh, oh, and, and back for some more punishment is our lovable announcer. He too appears in Carcerum as Hal, and he's a big time video game director and a fine award-winning actor himself. Our lovable announcer and judge for the evening, George Ackles, ladies and gentlemen. George, thanks hey, for Bill. coming back tonight. It's, it's always a pleasure to be here. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey, little quotation marks, but we'll, we'll go with that. Okay. All right, everybody. Well, look, let's let's get on with the game. We we've got a hell of a lineup for you tonight. Uh, we we've also we've also got some great contestants uh, lined up for you tonight. Uh, this first guy, all the way from uh, his computer, it, it, I think, in the back room of our studio, <laughs> right now. Listen, you guys are lucky to have this guy here. He's a big time. Chicago news anchor. He's on NPR and, and he does that uh, wait, 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 don't tell me show on NPR. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bill Curtis. Bill Curtis. <laughs> AKA the Unabomber. <laughs> Bill, Bill, 
Tell us a little bit about your, I'm so excited because I've grown up watching Bill Curtis in the Chicagoland area for so long. It's so, it's so exciting to have you here. Um, well, first of all, that guy has a K in his name and I have a C ah. in mine. Uh, oh, but different, uh, a different other Bill than Curtis. that, other than that, we're twins. Where's the poker table? Is the poker table nearby? Because I'm all set yeah, the, for this game. Yeah, Is, we're playing poker after the show. Poker okay, after so, the show. So, not, uh, all right, right. Yeah, you don't need <laughs> you don't need the poker face tonight, Bill. Tell okay, us a little bit okay. about yourself, Bill. If you're not the big time news anchor, who the hell are you? I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a guy that lives in Malibu. I have a yeah. wonderful wife and three amazing children, and one of uh, them is the producer of a show called solar solar and that's coming out this fall is that an audio drama series that 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 is an audio audio, that is an audio drama series and you know there's this amazing studio that had like 40 different four-hour sessions recording all of our actors trying to remember the name of that that studio was Uh, was was it it? shane shane sock production that's it that's it it. that's it's shane sock studio and very a very incestuous little studio we have here. <laughs> there you go. There's Shane Bill, welcome to the show. Welcome to the Thank show. You. We're excited. I, I hope you win a lot of money, okay? Okay. Thank you. Here Need it. Go. Need it. Need it. All right. This next contestant is coming to us all the way. Originally, originally, this guy is from Lake Bluff, Illinois. And, and that's a town that I know well in Illinois. But let's give him a big hand. Kevin McKechnie, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin McKechnie. Kevin? Hey. No, we're on the show now, Kevin. We're on the show. Kevin, tell Hi. us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, from Lake Bluff, Illinois. Um, mm-hmm. for, uh, I, I've lived out here in Los Angeles for about like 10 years. Um, okay. I'm an actor. Um, I'm part of a little group with Corey Powers and Dana Powers and a few other uh-huh. folks called Storyboard, where we do a bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, I'm also, uh, I'm also an outdoor educator. So I'm, I just got back into the country from, uh, Costa Rica and Belize just a couple weeks ago. And nice. so I'm back in LA and luckily enough, I have Corey and Dana who are putting me up on their couch. So I'm essentially homeless. But, <laughs> uh, now Lake Bluff, Lake Bluff, Illinois. Uh, when I was dirt. a little kid, we would go to the 4th of July parade and in little downtown, uh, Lake Bluff. And that was a big deal. My sister, my sister Debbie Holmes, who's I know is watching that, she used to ride her horse down down the main street yeah. there on, uh, on on in Lake Bluff. So Lake Bluff has. I, is I've near been in that parade many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me too. I was in that yeah. parade when I was a little kid. So it's good to have you here, Kevin. I hope you win a lot <laughs> of money you. tonight. I mean, you really can't can't win a lot of money tonight. But anything you, helps. Anything you helps. Might win a few bucks. You might win a few bucks. Okay. Well. Let's get the game started. What do you say we get the game started? Uh, uh, Bill, I believe Bill, uh, we flipped the coin, and uh, you get to uh, you get to go first. So uh, we're gonna well, go I over. Well, I kept the coin, go... by the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you did. We're gonna go over here, and I'm gonna ask you uh, which question would you like, Bill? Question A or question B? I'm kind of a fond of the letter B, so let's go with the B. B. Let's go with question B. Okay, here's question B right here. Okay. All right, come over here. All right. All right, so panelists, everybody uh, have your have your uh, uh, markers ready and your, your, your things ready. And, Bill, here's your first the spelling question. Count. What? What? <laughs> I hope you spelling doesn't count. I'm just. No, no, spelling doesn't count. Don't worry about it, Shane. Here we go. All right, Bill, here we go. Listen up. Uh, Stan, I'm so nervous. Oh, Bill, Stan isn't too bright. Just yesterday, he tried to blank his Fruit of the Looms. He's not too bright. Okay? You got that, you got that Bill? Stan, he's not too bright. Just yesterday, he tried to blank his Fruit of the Looms. We all know what fruit of the looms are. Okay, so everybody's looking. So let, let's see, Corey, let's see who's uh, on the on the Facebook while they're getting their answers there. We got, uh, we got, uh, uh, who is that? Careful, oh, Deb they're Holmes. gonna start There's showing answers. Dad. Christy Pollock. Oh yeah, don't show the answers. Don't show the answers. No, they don't know the answers. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cassie VS is on there. Chrissy Pollock, Billy Aquaviva, Dev Holmes, Peg, Peg Radcliffe, uh, one of our regulars is here tonight. MC Tapera. Ah, welcome, MC. Uh, uh, Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie. There you go. Jenny, Stephanie's looking tonight. Okay. And then uh, we got, uh, yeah, we got a lot of people. Okay. I'm loving that. Okay. Let me give it to you one more time. Uh, Stan isn't too bright. Just yesterday, he tried to blink his Fruit of the Looms. Give me a thumbs up if everybody's ready. It seems like everybody's ready. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to Bill. Stan, you know, that's Stan. He's he's just not, he's not, he's not a smart guy. He's not too bright. Just yesterday, he tried to blank his fruit of the looms. What? what oh, you oh, do, you, you mean that he tried his own, not hers? Right. I'll, I'll leave uh, it to you, Bill. I, I, I have, I have to go. Are those crickets? The crickets <laughs> yeah. in here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I <laughs> have to go with a lot here. <laughs> I need this. Mo- I need this money, so I got to go with eat. He tried to eat. He, his he own tried fruit. to eat yeah. his fruit of the looms. Okay. That's a reasonable answer. That, that's a reasonable answer. I, I think you might get a couple of duplicates on that. Let's go to Mary Weiss first. Mary Weiss. Come Mary, on, Mary. Mary Stan isn't too bright. Just yesterday, he tried to, uh, Bill saying, eat his fruit of the looms. What do you say, Mary? Uh, well, he'd have to be not very bright. At first, I thought maybe he wore them as a hat, but I'm like, you know. <laughs> If he's really that dumb, he ate them. He ate, he ate them. Okay, so there we go. All right. There's there's one duplicate, Bill. Look at that. Come I'll on. Tell you, man. Bill, I'm telling you, you brought me presents. You're gonna win today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go down to let's go down to Natasha Detmer. Natasha, Natasha. Uh, Stan, see, he's not too bright. Yesterday, he tried to blank his fruit of the looms. He says, eat. Well, I I, 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 I couldn't agree more. Uh, absolutely, he tried to eat them. But before he tried to eat them, he tried to <laughs> yeah. peel them. He tried to peel them. Okay. Maybe, maybe he wore them a few days in a row, and you got to kind of peel them off. Yeah, okay, all right. Unfortunately, Bill, that's not a... That's not a duplicate. So uh, we're going to move down to uh, Mr. Tyler Rhodes. Tyler Rhodes. He had a hey, he's looking for eat. He tried to eat him, Tyler. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm making a lot of um, <clears throat> I'm making a lot of baby food these days to feed my young Are son. You? And uh, mm-hmm. so first I thought uh, poach because I'm poaching a lot of fruit. But then okay. I thought, well, you, you poach the fruit so you can so you can eat it. So you Woo! can eat it. There we go. There's another duplicate, another duplication. Look at that, oh my gosh, you got two. Corey, Corey Powers is on top of it tonight. People, look at the tech, the technical shit is happening tonight. That's all I'm saying. Good for you, Corey. Okay, let's move down to, oh, Mr. Shane Salk. Shane, you're normally, you're normally in the control room there, running the show tonight. You're just, you're out of the cave. And, and we're letting you loose. What do you say? He's looking for eat. What did you say, Shane? Well, Bill, copyright yeah. uh, that. They ever say that. Eat is a very good answer. Yes. I I thought he was stupider than that. Really? <laughs> I, 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 I thought he was trying to juice his he fruit. He tried the to juice it. He tried to juice it. So he's like, <laughs> got the fruit of the looms and he's, he's juicing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. Okay. Unfortunately, but you juice it, you're going to eat, eat, well, you're going to consume it at least, right? You're going to consume it, but you're not going to, you're I probably not going to chew it. You juice it right. I'm just. Unless there's a lot of pulp. So we, we cannot consider that a duplicate. So uh, Shane fucked you over there, Bill. It's Shane. That fucked you over. Not me, Bill. You remember that in the future. <laughs> we okay. will remember that. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's let's go over to little Dana Powers. Now, now, Bill, I know Dana. Dana comes up with answers that, that usually duplicate with other people. So Dana, he's looking for he's not too bright, but yes, he tried to eat his fruit of the looms. What do you say? 
Well, uh, I feel like I've been away for a while. I didn't know if my duplicating powers would still be intact, but um, luckily for Bill, they are. Eat, okay, there you go. Little Dana didn't let you down, Bill. (laughs) She did not let you down. Okay. All right. This is this is a big this is a big moment, everybody, because the twins have been away for a long time. We're bringing the <laughs> twins back tonight. We're gonna see if they duplicate with Bill. Uh, twins, what do you say? He's looking for eat. What did you say? Well, Bill, I think you we might have to go to the judges on this one. <laughs> yeah. Because we put blend them into a smoothie. <laughs> no, I I would say that you drink a smoothie, but you know what? We'll kick it to the judge. Uh, George, what do you say, George? Uh, I'm saying I think that's a stretch, but what do you say? Yeah, I mean, Doc, if, if, if we'd said, you know, cook them on a grill, you know, I think we, mm-hmm. would, we would all agree that that's a step towards eating mm-hmm. them, but it isn't actually eating them. It's the preparation. Okay. And frankly, if we're going to give it to them, we got to go back to juicing, and then it, then it just turns into a whole thing. So, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm a afraid that's not a duplicate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that is not a duplicate. I'm sorry, Bill, the judges say that's not uh, a duplicate. This is, this is look, just terrible, terrible. <laughs> t- take it easy, man. It's, <laughs> it's the beginning of the show. <laughs> okay. No, I, I also, for the record, Bill, I want to point out yeah. that this might be one of the highest scores we've ever had in round one. So, <laughs> yes. We're okay. I think you're yeah. right. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> and, and look, I, I, I just want the that. highest score. And and he's he wants to get out there with a sign and start protesting all of a sudden. <laughs> exactly. I, I just want Kevin to give me my hair back. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No. No. Now Kevin's going to hang on to that thing. Okay. So Bill, you got three duplicates. That's pretty good for round one. So let's uh, Kevin. Kevin, let's go over here and get your uh, your thing. Are we going over here? Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. So we got your question right over here. All right. <laughs> we we have the technology. We want to show it off. Okay. All right, Kevin. Everybody plays on this round. Here we go. So round one. Uh, Kevin, here's your question. Ellen said to her mother, Mom, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is I'm going to marry a doctor. The bad news is it's Dr. Blank. Mm. How about that? Okay, I'll give that to you guys one more time. Ellen said to her mother, Mom, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is I'm going to marry a doctor. The bad news is it's Dr. Blank. Oh, my gosh. So we got MC Tapera out there. Uh, Sue Willis. Cindy Daniels is out there. Okay. We got the, boy, Chrissy Pollock talks all the time. She's just always talking. Hi, Chrissy Mom. Chrissy Pollock's talking, talking, talking. Uh, Stephanie's back there. I Billy's back there. I didn't hear you, Shane. We didn't hear you. Say it again. Well, Dana's always watching. My mom, I'm hoping to figure out how the internet works one of these days. <laughs> okay. Okay. Your mic's a little, a little jumpy, Shane. Just Wonky. so you know. Oh. All right, so give me a give me a thumbs up when you guys have your answers there. Uh, we got the twins, Dana, Mary, and Natasha. You done? You you ready to go? Okay, Tyler, are we waiting for you, Dana? Okay, all right, all right, Kevin. Here we go. Kevin McKechnie, Lake Bluff, Illinois. Lake Bluff, Lake Bluff. It is such a beautiful little town. It's on the bluffs overlooking Lake Michigan. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Really, really rich people live it. They live there. That's who they live. Yeah. There. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> Ellen, Kevin, Ellen said to her mother, Mom, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is I'm going to marry a doctor. The bad news is it's Dr. Who? So I figured there's there's plenty of options here in popular culture, and I, I'm having to go with just the first one that just came to my mind. I have to go with Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I got I got to be honest with you, Kevin. I did not think of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> What's that? What is that answer? Oh, answer of the week. Look at that. You got the answer of the week. <laughs> I didn't even know we had that graphic. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
I was not so let's trying to Mary. <laughs> no, that was, that was a good answer, Kevin. That's a good answer. Mary Weiss. Let's go to Mary Weiss. Uh, can we can we wipe that graphic off of there? Can we get rid of that? There we go. Uh, no, get, get Hello. rid of it. Get rid of it. We want to see. The one on the, the other controller, Corey. <laughs> Corey Powers, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Can you get rid of that or not, Corey? Can you get rid of it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I can really? do it. Are you working on it? Because it seems not like you're not doing shit. <laughs> Here comes Shane. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, Shane. Shane. Shane's running in there. There goes Shane. <laughs> hey, it's a live show, to look everybody. It. Gotta love the live show. I'm Hi, Mary. So too. Yeah, left we lane, left lane, there. right. Stand up, sit down. Fight, fight, fight. All right, Mary. Mary, <laughs> right Mary, lean way over to your left. There you go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, Ellen said God. to her mother, Mom, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is I'm going to marry a doctor. The bad news is the doctor is, and he said, Dr. Pepper. What do you say? Yeah, again, my first thought, I don't know. This dates me, and I'm not sure what it says about me, but I said, Dr. Kevorkian. Kevorkian. Mm. <laughs> okay. And oh, I thought, my goodness. Oh, the suicide doctor. No. I realized Dr. that couldn't Death. possibly. So, you know, I, I actually got to give you your props for Dr. Pepper, but unfortunately, I yeah. said Dr. Spock. Oh, ah. Dr. Spock. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Kevorkian was your real answer. <laughs> I like that one. Dr. Death and his suicide machine. <laughs> yeah. I wrote a song. I wrote a song about Dr. Death and his suicide machine. That was played on uh, the Dr. Demento show. So go listen for that. Oh, All right. Unfortunately, ooh, geez, it's not a duplicate. Kevin, I'm sorry to hear Not that. a great start. Not a great no, start. not a good start. But, hey, You're look. Suck. Hey, the other guy. Bill's only got three. <laughs> He's only got three. Don't worry about it. You, you got some people you who love start. you. Let's go to uh, Natasha Detmer. Natasha has been here since, since Moses roamed the earth. And she's going to come up. She's going to come up with just, an answer. Just actually an eyelash earlier than that. But yeah, close <laughs> enough. Well, before Moses. Okay. So what do you say? He's looking for uh, Dr. Pepper. Well, it, it, in that I was familiar with the time frame, uh, mm -hmm. I went right to my near and dear and came up with Dr. Death. Dr. Death as well. Look at that. <laughs> I got to tell you. <laughs> I get over this question. I I didn't think of Doctor Death. That's that's nineties. That's nineties. That's good. I usually well, say you have to 70s. be so over whatever I am to <laughs> yeah. come up oh, with okay. exactly right. Natasha. I, Thank I you. understand. I understand now. Okay. Unfortunately, Kevin. Not a good yeah. So let's go down to Tyler Rhodes. Maybe Tyler Rhodes uh, came. Maybe maybe he's a. a a lover of soda pop. <laughs> well, uh, you know, my Tyler, did you see Dr. Pepper? <laughs> my, my first thought was, I mean, we're there in the studio. It's got to be yeah. Phil Holmes, the voiceover. <laughs> oh, the voiceover. That was, that was just my, that was just my first thought. Uh, Thank you. My, Thank you. Thank my you, actual answer, uh, my actual <laughs> answer is going to make someone feel better. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not Kevin. It's the other ladies, because I said Dr. Death. <laughs> Dr. Death. <laughs> Dr. Death. So Jack morbid. Kevorkian. So he morbid. seems to be... <laughs> I don't know. He seems to be pretty fucking popular, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> dark show. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Hey, trust me. If you hung around the studio, you'd know why. Okay. All right. Uh, Shane. Shane Salk. Come on. He's, he's, you know, Kevin, I got to tell you, Kevin, I got to tell you, if my brother Scott Holmes were here, he would have said Dr. Pepper because he drinks See? it every day. He drinks See? it every day and he grew up around Lake Bluff. So, but he's not here. Let's go to Shane Salk. Let's see so what I'm Shane screwed. says. Yeah, uh, Kevin, I think your answer is better than everybody else's answer <laughs> that's done it. Uh, I was going to say Dr. Salk because... That's a horrible person to have to marry because I've met all of them. Oh. No. 
Oh, he's helped humanity. Uh, yeah, that one did. The other ones are crazy. <laughs> I'm sure Daryl will have a. Unfortunately, I I said Doctor Zayas. <laughs> Who? Oh, Dr. Zayas! Who? Planet, Planet of the Apes! He's the doctor from Planet of the Apes! I don't know why I had the Simpsons playing in my head. Why are you oh, doing this to me? Just, you know, you don't need the Simpsons. Just go to Planet of the Apes. That's all you have to go to. I don't know what that oh. is. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to have a little tequila. Hmm. Mm. But I still say uh, your Kevin. answer is better than mine. Uh, Kevin, I'm well, sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry, thank you. Kevin. So All far, right. no duplicates. Uh, look, Kevin, you're living in Dana's house right now. You're little sure. Dana Powers. Maybe she's going to come up with an answer for you. Dana, he said Dr. Pepper. How well do you know Kevin? <laughs> well, I... I uh, I know that Tyler and I think alike because my first instinct I had to write down was the voiceover of Dr. Bill Holmes. <laughs> of course. Well, you know, I paid. But you, so. <laughs> I, I didn't think Kevin would go there. So yeah. I, I did revise. And I just want to say I love you, Kevin, so much. And I so wanted to give you a point. Um, but I didn't because I wrote Dr. Frankenstein. Oh. Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein. I mean, that's a reasonable answer, though. You know, I'm going to bring home Dr. Frankenstein and, and marry the doctor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Kevin, man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Listen. You got the twins though. The twins. I do. They've been, they've been they've been out of the game for a while. You never know what the twins twins are gonna say. So uh, let's go to the twins right now. Uh, Ian and Marissa Holmes. What do you say? He's he's looking for a doc. He's looking for a Dr. Pepper. Well, Bill, <laughs> we didn't say Dr. Pepper. <laughs> no. We said. Oh, you just suck. Oh, Frankenstein. Oh, Kevin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kevin. I feel bad for Obesity you. Obesity is a huge issue in this country. Come on, man. <laughs> but, but I would like I would like our our Facebook audience to know they can download Carcerum. Right? <laughs> Thirty one episodes. Okay, I would. I would like. Okay. Um, Coca-Cola to know that we will accept sponsorships if Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Let's get Coca-Cola involved. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> NPH doesn't think that. Okay. All right. Well, look. Uh, so what do we got here? We got Bill. You've got the uh, three and uh, oh, three duplicates. Kevin, you got zero. Uh, let's uh, let's go uh, to round I... two. But before we go to round two, let's go to our uh, our first commercial uh, message. <laughs> hey everybody, Bill Holmes here, the voiceover doctor. This is a PSA, and I would just like to say, look, look everybody, please, get the shot. The vaccination will help every, it'll get us out of this whole pandemic. If 95% if of us get the shot, the, you know, the pandemic's over, so please. Get vaccinated, get the shot, okay? I know I'm a doctor. Back to you, Shane. Uh, uh, Shane. Thank you, Bill. To you. Thank you, Shane. Let's go to round two, to you, Bill. <laughs> back to me, I guess back to me. Okay. <laughs> For God's sakes, everybody. For God's sake. He does when he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> just, just get vaccinated. Just get vaccinated. It'll all be over. Okay? Yeah. Only my opinion. Only my opinion. Okay. All right. So, uh, Bill, Kevin, Kevin, uh, you are behind right now. So, you get in round two. Let's go over to round two. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I didn't put the cards in round two. Uh, you minute. suck. Get the, I know. I <laughs> Your mother vomited. I did not vomit. Okay. Well, she <laughs> put something two. in the bathroom that took a very long time, and she did not come out looking happy. 
<laughs> okay, sorry about that. So, Kevin, what, what, what do you want? You want A? Wait, did I do this right? Yeah. Do you want A or do you want B? I want B. B. All right. Damn it, I wanted B. Okay. I know okay. you did. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, you get to go first and you get B. Oh, oh this is a good one, Kevin. This is a good oh. one, Kevin. I think you're going to catch oh, up here. Oh, jeez. Okay, all right. So now everybody plays because Kevin sucks so bad at this game that he didn't get, <laughs> he, he didn't duplicate anybody. So everybody gets to play. Okay. All right. Kevin. <laughs> hey, Ke hey, Kevin. Welcome back to L.A. Okay. Thank you. All right, Kevin. Here we go. Listen up, everybody. Sammy the Stork. Sammy the Stork. It's a stork, Kevin. Sammy the Stork is in really bad shape. In the circus this week, he got a hernia delivering the blanks baby. See, Kevin, storks sometimes are <laughs> affiliated with delivering babies. You see how this works? Okay. Sammy the Stork, oh, he's, in, he's in really bad shape. He, uh, in the circus this week, he got a hernia delivering the blanks baby. Okay. Zarea Skay is out there, everybody. Uh, Red stream, congratulations, you received 100 messages. Too. <laughs> what, what is that? We got 100 messages. Shane, we got, we got 100 messages on, on the Facebook, I guess. Uh, okay, all right, everybody's out there. I've mentioned everybody's name. Uh, let's see. Uh, give me a thumbs up when everybody's ready. Okay, Mary's ready. Natasha's ready. Okay, the twins. Dana. Everybody seems to be ready. Shane doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> right. Spell thing. Are you, Shane, are you playing the guitar? <laughs> if I hold it, people think I know what I'm doing. Ah. Okay. Sure. I mean, you look. You look so much like David Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Kevin. Here we go. Kevin. Before we start, I just want to say to everybody, download Carcero wherever you get podcast series. Okay. Okay, Kevin. All right, Sammy the Stork. Ah, oh, he's in really bad shape. In the circus this week, he got a hernia delivering the blanks baby. Okay, so we got Stork, we have Circus, and from the story the that I was told... I think As a child, they don't discriminate. So it's not just human babies, but babies for all animals. Correct. So I'm going to go with the elephant's baby. Elephant. baby elephant. Okay. The baby elephant. Oh, that makes perfect sense. They're huge. That makes perfect sense. They're, they're very big. Even when they're babies. You know, Dumbo. Dumbo was flying around with his big ears and everything. All right. Here we go. The round two questions are a little easier. All right, so let's go to Mary Weiss. Mary Weiss, he's looking for elephant's baby. What do you say, Mary? Uh, well, we Northern Illinois folk got to stick together. I'm from Wakanda <laughs> there, Kev. All right. Elephant! Elephant's baby. We're back, baby. We're back. That is a duplicate. Very nice, Kevin. Let's move down to Natasha Detmer. Who knows a thing or two about delivering babies? I don't know. I don't. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> what do you say? Nathan? Wow. Okay. <laughs> He's I missed that part of my life. Um, yeah. <laughs> in that, I'm from Winnetka, and therefore not so far from Lake Bluff. Um, yeah. And also because our contestant is the handsomest man in the room, so right? virtually or not. Thank I, I you. Come up with elephants. Elephants. Hey. All right. Hey. That's two. Elephants. Hey. I, I'm, I'm no slouch. I'm a pretty good looking guy. You're in a different room, man. <laughs> I am in a different room. That's true. Okay. Hey, that's two duplicates, Kevin. Look at uh, the round two is a little easier for you. It's going better for you. Let's go down to uh, Tyler Rhodes. Tyler, what did you say? Well, Bill, He's looking for I'm elephants. from Jefferson City, Missouri. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, uh, <laughs> means nothing. Means nothing to us. Very fair. Uh, but hey, don't call it the comeback, right? <laughs> the elephant. <laughs> the elephant. 
All right, we've tied up the game. We've tied up the game. Shane Salk. Shane. Oh, mother vomited. I did oh, not wait. Vomit. Well, she did something you... in the bathroom what that happened? took a very. <laughs> so, so, so many graphics. So, I just thought, so little I'm, time. I, I'm just seeing Thanksgiving dinner at my parents' house flash before my eyes. <laughs> so, so many graphics. Okay. So little time. So, okay. Shane, you're looking what? for elephants. What do you say? Okay. So I got very frustrated. Yeah. Um, because I figured I was like, oh, I can't spell this correctly. So I <laughs> I, I, I said elephants. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure I didn't spell it right. So I Okay. Put it on. Okay. And All the right. picture turned out even worse than the spelling. So you <laughs> yeah, know what that is. So so wait. So your answer is anteater. <laughs> no, no. No? It's elephant. It's I elephant. Right. Okay. It's All right, we'll, give, we'll give that to you. <laughs> Kevin Kevin pulls ahead with the anteater picture. <laughs> I was I was just gonna go with Dr. Zayas again because I'm pretty sure I got that one right. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Okay, <laughs> let's jump down to little Dana Powers. Dana, he's looking for elephant. He's doing really well with elephant. What do you say? Well, I I came here tonight really wanting to make Kevin some money, and that's why I wrote elephants. There you go. There you go. Dana, why, why don't you why don't you just give Kevin money? Just give him some money. Yeah. Um, I'm giving him root and I'm giving him a cozy home. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll give you money right. too. I don't know. Look, Kevin, you're looking for a sweep here. You're looking for a sweep, a clean sweep. The twins again. Ian's been in Costa Rica for years. Melissa was in <laughs> Chicago. Let's see what's happening here. Uh, Ian and Marissa, he's looking for elephant. Well, Bill, I've only been to the circus one time in my life. And unfortunately, <laughs> really? it had the world's largest trapeze artist. <laughs> <laughs> and man, this, this guy was huge. You could have seen him flying through the air. Crazy. Oh my, oh my goodness. So just a, just a, a big fat guy just flying through the air. <laughs> The world's largest. I need to go to Costa Rica. <laughs> Kevin, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to hear that you didn't sweep this. That leaves the door open for Bill. So, Bill, so Bill, oh. look. Come on. Hey, whoa, come Bill. On. You got a shot yeah. here, buddy. You got a shot okay. here. I'm going to come over here. All right, come this. on, Bill. Be okay, hey. so now th three I people. I saw the studio playing. audience. Can we can Who we see the oh, the live let's studio? See Why did we have all the attractive people in the studio audience and not in the panel? I don't understand. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. Heaven's here. All right. So let me let me ask. Who does not play me out this of it. time? Who does who does not play? Uh, whoever back? said eat, uh, right? Okay, so Tyler no, doesn't play. I don't play. And uh, I don't play. Who? Look at the who? look at the screen. Raise yeah. your hand if you don't play. No, the blue. Raise your hand if the you don't play. So don't Mary play. doesn't yeah, play. The, the, and, and okay, so okay. Look All right, so we got this. Look at the blue. So we're gonna start with this time. All right. I spent a lot of time Bill. making that blue work, Bill. Okay, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I have no, I have no idea what anybody's saying to you, me. You, you, you got okay, Bill, you got rid of so many this, good panelists. Okay. Here we go, <laughs> Bill. Yeah, listen ouch. up. Okay, listen up. Here we go. Doctor Needleman, you quack! You promised me. The stitches would hold, you clumsy idiot. Right in the middle of my wedding ceremony, my blank fell off. <laughs> okay. Bill, did you get that? There's some acting involved there. Watch this. Watch the acting. Here comes the acting. 
Hey, Dr. Needleman, you quack. You promised me the stitches would hold, you clumsy idiot. Right in the middle of my wedding ceremony, my blade fell off. Okay, so I think we got Natasha, Shane, and the twins get to play on this one. Am I correct on that one? Natasha, Shane, and the twins, okay? Cindy Daniels says, yeah, Wakanda, Illinois. Does anybody know who the hell? So many Illinoisians. My sister, Bill. Oh, is that your sister? There you go. There you go. She's in Round Lake. Hmm. Round Lake. <laughs> no, I mean, back, back, when, back when I lived there, Round Lake was not a great place to live. Is it a better place to live now? <laughs> I, I feel like Bill, I feel like alienating our audience is really the way to go. Thank you for that. No, <laughs> no they love us. In oh, hey, analyst, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I... <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Jim Davey is out there. Jim Davey is out there. <laughs> He's the greatest jazz drummer ever born. Jim Davey, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Oh, Ann O'Donnell Gardner tuned in tonight. Thanks, thanks for tuning in, Ann. It's good to see you. Her, her husband, Brooks Gardner, he was the Black Angus cowboy in all the Black Angus commercials back in the day. And Ann and Brooks, they just happen to be in Carcerum. How about that? Okay. All right. So do we have a thumbs up? Is everybody ready to go? Everybody's ready to go? Here we go. Okay. All right. All right, Bill, you ready for this? Dr. N no. Dr. Needleman, you quack. You promised me the stitches would hold, you clumsy idiot. Right in the middle of my wedding ceremony, my blank fell off. So this is like a really scary question. But um, at first <laughs> I was I was I was gonna say ring finger because I thought that, that would be that would be a problem. My but, ring finger. But but after meeting this panel, I, I gotta yeah. say balls <laughs> my balls my balls fell off i i'm i'm guessing you're speaking for the groom <laughs> just guessing that okay my my balls i don't know if i were gonna go that route i might have said my dick fell off <laughs> well I, I figured that i'd get i'd get a, a I'd get a, 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 a an answer a positive either way, you know. And okay. Little little All leeway. Right. I need well, three. Okay. I need three to match, right? I know you've got three duplicates. You need three to match. Uh, we're gonna go to Natasha first. Natasha, I, I'm he's looking, looking for, for a judge he's looking here. for his balls. Oh, and Natasha said dick. So uh, that is not. Oh, that's duplicate. the same. That's the same. But again, you need two to tie. And, and uh, six to win, so you you still have a chance to tie. We're going to jump down to, uh, I think, Shane Salk. Oh, wait, Shane wait, Salk. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? I'm sorry. Excuse me. What? What? Really? We could, we could sort of really just sort of check in with the judge briefly? Yeah, that's a positive. Well, Come on, give me a break. I don't know. <laughs> Natasha. Uh, not it's, a all, it's all kind of one situation, you know? It's just... <laughs> this, yeah, this no, wait, 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 wait. No, I want to hear what George has to say. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, very I, much I just want to say to Bill, I just want to say to Bill, you explain that to your wife. Okay, Bill? <laughs> explain that one to your wife. But, but go ahead, George. We'll go to yeah. the judge. Yeah, yeah, Doc, the, the bit works much better when you comment on the answer before you throw it to me. Let me just point that I'm out, sorry. first of all. I'm sorry. Second, second, second I'm so thing. sorry. No, no, second thing. I'll, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with a different joke. It's a sad commentary on the state of the American educational system, Doc, that we're even having this conversation. That's not a duplicate. <laughs> okay. 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 I throw that, I throw that totally on Natasha. <laughs> I, 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 no, I just I just want to say it's been it's been a long time. Uh, that's all. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Natasha's like, hey man, I'm somewhere in the area. I'm fine with whatever. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, Bill. Not a duplicate. Not a duplicate. Well, I I was told this was a family show, so I was just trying to clean it up. You know. Oh no. Yeah. Oh yeah. And balls is so much better <laughs> than <laughs> penis. <laughs> okay. All the right. Manson Shane? family. Shane? Here what? we go, Shane. 
He's what? Looking, he's looking, oh, it's my turn. Shane, Bill, Bill is looking for his balls. That's what All he's right. looking for. <laughs> what do you say? I originally wrote yeah. this. I can't see it. You wrote dick. I okay. wrote dick. But yeah, originally, Bill, originally. I thought more of you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no way would he <laughs> say something that I would say. He's so I man. ended up writing down ring finger. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. oh. should have gone with ring finger. Unfortunately, that is not a duplicate, and uh, I don't think there's any chance of you winning. What did the twins say, though? I'm just curious what the twins said. Well, twins. Well, Bill, you read the room right, but we're we're a little north. Cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so that means Bill. Bill, I'm sorry to say, you did not win the game tonight. Uh, what do we have, Corey? What do we have for Bill? Oh, yeah. Oh. Sorry about that, Bill. You got little piles of shit just flying around. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Kevin, you're the big wiener. You're the big wiener, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin McKechnie wins. All right. All right, so we're going to go to the uh, second to the last round right after this commercial message. Life has looked a lot different this year. Working from home social distancing, video calls with family, and so many other little changes. But the one thing that hasn't changed is our dedication to our listeners. Whether you are used to listening in your car, on your daily commute, or during a walk through the neighborhood, we thank you for your continued support as we stay committed to bringing you the best audio content. From news and politics to healthcare updates, daily inspiration, how your favorite cars get made, or behind the scenes of your favorite movies, we've been there with you. We're honored to be a part of your daily community, and we're committed to doing our part in every way we can to support our community. While we can't wait to get back into the studio, we know that by wearing a mask and washing our hands, we can continue to support our listeners in every way. That's why we wear a mask for our frontline and essential workers, for our loved ones, for the elderly, for the immunocompromised, for me, and for you. Thank you for wearing your mask and doing your part. Hey, there we go, Kirko Media. Bill Curtis, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Curtis, wear a damn mask. Just wear your damn mask. What the, what's the problem? Just wear the freaking mask, okay? Fantastic, Bill. Bill, I'm sorry you didn't win the game. There you go. Look, you're wearing your mask. And and now you can go into a nice synagogue at the same time. You know, this is great. Fantastic. All right, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Kevin, you won the damn game. You won the game. I know. Well, let's, get, let's get rid of that. We're going to start. Corey, let's get rid of it. We're going to start from a clean slate here. There you go. Okay. All right, Kevin. We're going to go to the uh, second to the last round here, okay? okay. And what's going to happen is uh, you're going to have to duplicate an answer, and you get to choose from three of our uh, celebrity panelists for help with this, with this uh, uh, question. Pool blank. Pool blank. P-O-O-L. Pool blank. Okay, so think of something in your head, Kevin. And uh, who would you like help from for your first answer here? You can pick three of, of the our celebrity guests. You want me to pick three now? I want you to pick one for, for starters. Okay. Um, start with Dana. Dana okay. Powers, ladies and gentlemen. Dana Powers. Dana? Pool blank. What do you say, Dana? I felt like there was a lot of possibility here. There's a lot. And of, yeah. I'll just say the first thing that came to my mind, which was pool stick. Pool <laughs> stick. The <Pool> stick. <laughs> now, a pool stick could be considered a pool cue. 
Would you would you mm-hmm. agree with That's that? That's way too okay. sophisticated for me. And I just, okay. Kevin, I'm not offended if you don't choose my answer. Okay. Just pool wanna... stick, pool cue. We're gonna go. We're gonna put those two together. Okay. Okay. Kevin, who else do you want help with? Uh, let's go with Natasha. Natasha Detmer, the voice of experience. Natasha, pool blank. Well, you've got pool cue side, so I'm going to say, oh, a a cue stick. I'm going to say side, pool side. Pool side, pool side. Okay, good answer. Kevin, who's the third celebrity that you would like help from? Let's go with Mary. Who? Mary. I didn't hear. Mary, Mary Weiss. Mary, we've got pool cue, we've got pool side, pool stick. What do you say? Okay, I appreciate that applause. I <laughs> said pool shark. Pool Ooh. shark. I just want to point out there was a pin. What? I don't what know what you say? said. There was a trend in the people that he picked. A trend. Ladies. Yeah. He likes most ladies. attractive. He likes most the ladies. beautiful yeah. and intelligent. Yeah, I think Ian Holmes would argue with you on that one. But okay, so uh, Kevin, you got pool stick or cue, pool side or pool shark, or if you want to go with an answer on your own, something that you thought of yourself, you can you can use one of those. Uh, which what what do you say, Kevin? Pool blank. Well, what's the ultimate goal? What I'm not exactly sure how <laughs> to, this to part win the game. Works. Have you, you not been been playing match? the game for the last hour? <laughs> <laughs> whatever, Kevin. What whatever yeah, you who's think. Guessing? Well, whatever. Ew. We 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 did Shame. a poll. We oh, did, a did a poll of about yeah. We did a poll of three thousand people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and we came up with the answers. Uh, you have a five dollar. You have a you have, number one can win you five dollars. Number two will win you two dollars and fifty cents. Number three will win you a whole dollar. Um, uh, and now you have you can use one of the celebrity answers: a pool stick or cue, pool side or pool shark, or you can come up with your own answer if you think you have a better answer. You don't have to go with any of those. I am, I'm actually, no offense to the ladies, I am going to go with something I thought of. I'm going to go with pool noodle. Like oh, noodle, that was like my pool second noodle. thought. Noodle. Pool noodle. Pool noodle. Yeah. Pool noodle. That's okay. the thing. Yeah, no. no that was my runner-up but... answer. <laughs> I, I love this game. And Dana? Hey, hey Dana? But it's not going to be the answer. Hey, Dana, don't... Don't be too proud of that. Okay. Pool Q is going to win. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go. Let's go to uh, our board, Corky. What do we got there, Corky? Okay. So, Corky, what is the $1 response? He said pool noodle. Do we have noodle? Oh, pool, pool boy. boy. Pool boy. The that pool was boy. my backup. No, oh, that's okay. Good. As Mary's pool. <laughs> Wait, wait, what does Shane have? Pool dick. Pool dick. I think you're thinking... You like pool you're dick thinking, to pool boy. Yeah, you're thinking ah. detective. Pool detective. You know, in case, in case there's a murder at the pool. Is that what it, is, that what it is? All right. Let's go with our $2.50 response. He's looking for pool... Oh, no, nope, pool table. Oh. That makes sense. That makes, that makes a little more sense to me. Pool table. Okay, did that did that cross your mind, Kevin? Pool table? No, I'm not a I am not a, a billiards person. Okay, all right, there we go. Um, all right, well, what's the uh, Corky? What's the five dollar response? He's looking for pool noodle. Oh, pool party! Oh my goodness, uh, who had pool party? Oh, Tyler Rhodes had Tyler. pool party there. Oh, All the twins the twin. had pool party. Oh. Kevin, I'm sorry. I think you, I think you picked the wrong person there. Pool noodle was not up there. Unfortunately, Kevin, you don't win anything. Oh. You lose. 
Good day, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Gene. Gene, he's mad at you. He seems angry. All right. I'm sorry, we, we don't have anything, so we can't go to the uh, we can't go to the fantastic rounds. But George, if we did go to the fantastic rounds, what was the fantastic round sponsored by tonight? Tonight's is the answer that you wrote on your card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card. Fantastic round would have been brought to you by Car Serum branded merchandise. <laughs> the easiest way to let those around you know that you have excellent taste in podcasts. Available everywhere, Car Serum branded merchandise is sold. Back to you, Bill. All right, everybody. Well, that's, that's our show. Listen, listen, you can download Car Serum wherever you get podcasts. Download it tonight, subscribe to it. Uh, 31 episodes out. You can binge it. It's really a damn good show. And uh, and also, Bill, Bill Curtis, he's producing Solar. Solar, there it is, right there. Yeah, show it to us, Bill. There you go. Solar. That's coming. When is that coming out, Bill? When's that coming out? I don't ask him that. Huh? Wait, you're, you're muted, Bill. You're muted. You're muted. Unmute. It, it, it comes out this October. October. And uh, and uh, we're we're really looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot. Of fun. It's a very good show. You got you got Alan Cummings in that show. Alan Cummings. Alan Cummings. Uh, um, I understand uh, you guys have a a new program here at Shane Talk Studios where you uh, are going to teach uh, Academy Award winning actors how to park. That's what's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. I won't I won't go into any details. <laughs> We don't want to make anybody feel bad, but some of the Academy Award-winning uh, actors, uh, they, they... La, 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 So anyway, okay. All right, we got it. I'll stop. That's great for the viewers right there. That's what we want. Okay. All right, well, listen, everybody. Uh, thanks for playing the game. Uh, congratulations to everybody who played. Uh, panel, thank you. George, take us out. Take us out of here. <laughs> Tonight's episode was sponsored by Fortaleza, the best goddamn tequila I've ever had. Remember, folks, if the tequila tried to kill you, then I bet you didn't get you some of that sweet and tasty nectar that we know is Fortaleza. Would you like to appear on a future episode of Is the Answer That You Wrote on Your Card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card? Simply send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address listed on your screen or email us at contestants at itatywyctsetatiwomc.com. <laughs> this is George Ackles speaking for Is the Answer That You Wrote on Your Card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card and SSP and Sh Compost Productions production. In addition to our sponsors, Bill Holmes' wardrobe was furnished by Black is the New Black. Forget orange, Black is the new black. Do you struggle to look your best? Put our selection to the test. If it's fashion sense you lack, head to black is the new black. Back to you, Bill. <laughs> black is the new bag. Hey, listen, I want to thank everybody. Uh, we do these every two weeks. In two weeks, we'll be doing uh, North Hollywood Cubes. Uh, you might see some of these people. You might see some new people. But thank you for tuning in tonight, everybody. Uh, we will see you in two weeks. Love you. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks everybody for playing the game.